So in this video, what we're going to be doing is resupplying our bar here over at our motorcycle clubhouse. And the first thing you guys need to do before you do this is get a cargo bob, okay? I'm serious. I don't even know if you're going to be able to do it without a cargo bob completely solo. The cargo bob method is going to be the best method in my opinion and experience for resupplying your bar here over at the motorcycle clubhouse all right guys so what we're gonna go ahead and do is do a resupply mission and then we're gonna talk about uh some monies and stuff like that so up here we got a bar and you can notice like right now there's nobody here why because we don't have any beer right and that's what people want so you go up to this chick all right and then you just like go and she'll like whatever she'll talk to you and then right there you press right i think or left on the d-pad and then that's going to be a resupply mission. So automatically that's just gonna go ahead and do a resupply mission. So this is why we have the cargo bob because what's gonna be happening okay, during the okay. resupply mission is we're gonna be getting non-stop shot at. So, you know, the vehicle itself is going to have like a life meter and we're gonna have to make sure that that life meter does not go to nothing and that's usually what happens every single time that I do this without like using a cargo bob. So, that's is why I've grabbed the cargo bob and I'm just going to show you guys easily. We're going to go out to wherever the vehicle is. We're going to simply hook the vehicle and then just take the vehicle back to the motorcycle clubhouse. So, here's the vehicle way out here in Sandy Shores. Yeah, you guys are probably going to be traveling a little ways. You know, another thing that potentially that you can do too is initiate, uh, you know, the mission itself. And then when you get close to the target, call out a cargo bob. But good luck with that because God knows where a cargo bob will end up spawning. Alright guys, so we got the van. It's full of beer. Don't worry. None of it's going to fall out of the back. I super glued it in there. So from here, we're just going to have to go ahead and fly back to the motorcycle clubhouse. Now, what's not going to happen is I'm not going to get shot at. All the dudes are way down there. They're not going to be able to shoot the van with me being at this uh, altitude. And look, we're already back in the motorcycle clubhouse. So simply, uh-oh, let's take this easy. Set this down. Go up. Set it down. Okay, there we go. Now the cargo bob. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Why are there phone poles? Why are we still using wires? All right. Now watch this. I just getting it. Yeah, I got to break in. I haven't done that yet. Booyah! There it is. Now we got full supplies. Now, in my uh I I don't really know where there's like a meter for any of this stuff, and I want to be talking about like the money too. So this is actually one of the challenges that you have to do for the motorcycle clubhouse uh which is part of the reason why I'm making this video is talking about the resupply missions for the bar in particular. So look, dude, nobody was in there before. Now look, now we got two people. The party is popping. Now, and potentially, is there going to be any more people? I can imagine so. And the people that are here are going to be drinking beer, and they're going to be they're going to be making me some money somehow. So you can actually make money by resupplying your motorcycle clubhouse bar, and then I can go up here too. Now, of course, there's probably gonna be like a five minute timer. The timer could actually be even longer. Have no idea. I'd actually have to go ahead and like wiki a lot of this stuff. This is something actually brand new to me that I've never really done before um, until I've actually gotten into the challenge here and figured out that I actually do have a bar at the motorcycle clubhouse and we actually can resupply it. So it's gonna kind of work out like maybe the nightclub or something like that. So if you guys like get your popularity up at the nightclub, you know, you make money and you put it in a safe or something like that. Same thing here at the motorcycle clubhouse. So let's run downstairs. I'm gonna show you guys where I was told and shown from doing research where the money's getting to equivalent. So in here is our, our little office, whatever. We got clothing. So this is it right here, this little money machine. So supposedly the money is going to be collected there. And all the other money that you guys see laying around, this is what happens when you do sell missions for any one of your businesses. So the more sell missions that you guys end up doing, the more product or I would say stuff that's going to end up being, you know, put around your motorcycle clubhouse kind of like the cash over at the ceo office as well 
But anyways, now you guys want to go ahead and talk about this. You as a cargo bob, it's going to be a lot easier. You're not going to get that van destroyed. And if you guys enjoyed the video, smash like button. Subscribe for new content so you guys don't miss out on daily Grand Theft Auto 5 online content. And hey, go check out the channel because we've got lots of other videos just like this for you guys to go ahead and enjoy. But from there, thanks for watching. My name is Gravesight, and I will see you in the next one. So peace.